Between 2003 and 2005, The Chappelle Show and Comedy Central was, you know, it was the place to go for the most intelligent, most biting, and just the funniest comedy anyone was producing at the time. In 2005, in an unanticipated and subsequently highly analyzed move, Chappelle left his show and many millions, millions of dollars, forcing us all to think about... <laughs> to think about the nature of laughter in a society in which racism is sewn into our national fabric. Thankfully, he returned to stand-up in 2013 and appeared in Spike Lee's Chirac in 2015 and filmed a total of four comedy specials for Netflix. In 2017, he won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for his appearance on Saturday Night Live. In 2018, he won both the Grammy for Best Comedy Album for The Age of Spin and Deep in the Heart of Texas, as well as another Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Variety Special for Dave Chappelle, Equanimity. My colleague in the Department of African and African American Studies, Glenn DiCarpio, who writes about race and comedy, says of artists like Chappelle, artists invite us to examine why stereotypes exist and to consider the power they have. We protest against them, but something is keeping them alive. The conjuring artist says, I'm going to bring these things fully alive in front of you and make them bigger and louder and get you to ask what it is that drives these stereotypes. Now, some people don't get the humor. That's a huge risk that artists, artists who trade in stereotypes take. <clears throat> For the risks he's taken in his comedy and the risks he makes us take every time we laugh and shake our heads and say, he did not just say that. <laughs> um, the Hutchins Center awards Dave Chappelle, Professor Dave Chappelle, the W.E.B. Du Bois Medal. Man, I gotta tell you, when I was sitting here watching what all the other honorees have done with their lives, I started feeling like shit, like this is terrible. <laughs> and then Bobo brought me up and started out good with that Ali picture and then it just, <laughs> But that, that coloring book that was in the picture, I know the Ali's are here, that coloring book, I, I, my mother has it. And uh, the champ, he, he signed it. You know, the greatest, he signed it, Muhammad Ali. And his sparring partner was there that day. And his sparring partner signed it, said the next heavyweight champion in the world, Larry Holmes. And he was. And two-year-old Dave Chappelle colored all in that shit and just ruined the book. <laughs> But I remember part of the book that I remember real vividly because I asked my mother about it when I was a kid. Is, there's a part where there's a picture of Ali throwing his Olympic gold medal into the Ohio River. That's why it's so weird for me being here. You know, both of my parents were, were very brilliant. My dad went to Brown in 1955. That's right. He, he told me at the time he was one of three black students. He said one of the guys got accused of a rape that he probably didn't commit. And the other guy killed himself, and Dad said, and, and I left. <laughs> and you see, that's what makes us Chappelle's great. We know when to quit. <laughs> we all just live to fight another day. I gotta say, uh, I'm, very, I'm very honored to be here, and I'm very honored to be here with, with the other honorees. Really, I'm like very humbled by you all, the work that you do, and you all make me want to be better. Uh, all of you. And you know, uh, I was gonna stop doing stand-up for a while, because four comedy specials in a year is like, that's a lot, you know. But I, you know, shout out to my colleagues in comedy. Uh, I just want, 
I just want to say that in, in a way this for me belongs to my mother primarily who was a African American studies professor and uh, a lot of the content that I you know that I say she, you know she raised me well <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an uninformed person uh, but also, you know, my colleagues in comedy, like comedians have been getting beat up pretty bad recently, and, and we're somehow nowadays expected to speak with the precision of attorneys or politicians. We are not. I always think of James Baldwin. You know, James Baldwin was one of my favorite writers because he managed to tell white people what they feel like to be around. So I ain't gonna hang up my gloves yet. I think I got one more special in me. So to quote Baldwin, God gave Noah the rainbow sign. It's no more water, it's the fire next time. Thank you very much. Oh, what a blessing to be here tonight. <laughs>